there are times in our lives when we feel like we're lost and that we need a reset. When you need the courage and the faith to keep going in life, nothing is more appropriate and reassuring than God's word. I hope these Bible scriptures will inspire and encourage you to go on living. In the world, you will have tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. This verse informs us that there will come a time when you will mourn, lament, and be in sorrow, while the rest of the world will rejoice. But Jesus goes on to explain, your sorrow will be turned into joy. It makes no difference how long it takes. What matters is the eventual outcome. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This scripture tells us that, even though we may go through times of hardship and sometimes unbearable agony, God can turn those circumstances on for his benefit and our blessing. God's spirit is our solace. When we lose faith in what is going on around us or to us, we may always turn to God for aid. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. This scripture reminds us that because Jesus has eternal love, he will also have eternal mercy. The idea that God's mercies are new every morning is a good one to remember. God gives mercy and it is replenished and refreshed every single day. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, or the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. This scripture's message is a great comfort of the omnipresent God. In every life scenario, human beings are naturally limited. Yet we serve an infinite God. God is always there for his children. He knows our limits and will not tempt us past them since he created us. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. And he will make straight your paths. Why does this verse declare, in all your ways, acknowledge him? not just some ways or some days, but always in all our ways. This entails accepting God's existence, reality, and dependability. To acknowledge him as Lord of our universe and to grant him complete access to the throne of our hearts. Thank you for watching. See you again on my next video. Please like and share and don't forget to subscribe.